So we have differential equations today, separating variables. And I want to work on this problem right here a little bit. x squared plus 4 times dy dx is equal to xy. And what I want to do is prove that these, this is a separable, a, separ <laughs> a separable differential equation, a separable differential equation. Wow, you can do it. I swear you can do it. Okay, look, I'm just going to do this algebra really quick. I'm going to divide both sides by x squared plus 4, because that's the factor, x squared plus 4. Now give me dy dx is equal to x over y, x squared plus 4. I'm going to multiply both sides by dx. This is a 4. And get dy. You know what I'm going to I'm going to divide by y at the same time. I'm going to multiply by dx and divide by y at the same time. And I get dy over y is equal to x over x squared plus 4. Wow. Sometimes it just drives you crazy because it's just the algebra of it. But you got to do the algebra. So there's my algebra. Hope that's good enough algebra for you. So there's the algebra of it for me. This is a differential equation. So right, we know that this thing can is a derivative. So I'm going to take the antiderivative here to get back to that. And by definition, we should be able to recognize that dy over y is ln of absolute y. So ln of absolute y is equal to. This one is a little bit more difficult to see, possibly. I don't know if you can see that this is an ln function, but it is an ln. So all I'm going to do is just I do a little bit of quick work up here and say u is equal to x squared plus 4 du dx, the derivative of u with respect to x is just 2x. If I solve, look, oh, I forgot to put my dx here. I do it all the time. <clears throat> if I solve for dx, I'll get dx, oops, sorry, dx is equal to du over 2x. So when I put this thing back together, see if you can follow this. This x is this x. u by definition, we just redefined this and said that u is equal to x squared plus 4. So over u is equal to du, um, it's not, not equal to, but times du over 2x. Because this dx is this one, and dx is this. So I'm just canceling stuff out. I'm trying to get this down to what I think it is. So the x's cancel out. <clears throat> Let's look at this one more time. So we get ln of absolute y is equal to the indefinite integral of du over u, right? du, if I multiply this back, I get du here. But this, this is also a 1, so I get 1 half, don't I? So hopefully you can, we can agree on this now, that we really have ln of absolute y is equal to 1 half. Ln of u, and u, of course, was x squared plus 4. Wow, what a pain in the neck that was, wasn't it? From there, though, we can move on and get a general solution. And our general solution will look like this. Right, we have ln here, ln here, so we can just say absolute y is equal to, right, our constant here times x squared plus 4. And to get rid of the absolute value sign, it's pretty simple, isn't it? We're just going to put plus or minus on both, plus or minus here. And there's our general solution. So I hope this worked out good for you. It was a lot of algebra. There was a good bit of calculus, but the calculus should have been relatively straightforward. Some stuff we just had to have memorized. And one of them, we had to know the definition of ln of, ln of a function, right, is, okay. All right, so hey, thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Your comments are always welcome. Appreciate it.